Hey everybody, welcome back to Trauma Talk. I am Joe Beckwith. Today I am answering a question that came from Hannah. Hannah contributes on my Patreon page and gets to ask a question a month because of the incredible donation that she is giving to Trauma Talk. Seriously, Hannah, thank you so much for what you're doing. I, I really can't thank you enough. I sincerely appreciate it. And the question that she asked this month has to do about the negative belief system surrounding what PTSD does to our brains. And there are a number of things that it affects, um, a long list, but the first thing that she asked about and the one that I want to address today is about the world not being a safe place. I have a lot of experience with this and not just because of PTSD and not just because of abusive relationships, but because I think I grew up believing and having this idea that the world is not a safe place because technically it's not a safe place. Bad things happen but bad things don't always happen. And I got stuck for a long time and some days still am stuck in this mindset of everything is unsafe all the time. And when you live in that mindset, A, it's really exhausting and B, it's not true. Like if you're always waiting for the other foot to drop, if you're always waiting for shit to hit the fan, if you're always waiting to get attacked again, if you're always waiting for another natural disaster to like uproot your lives, it's just, it's a, it's a really difficult way to live. So I wanna dive in and kind of talk about my experience with this and some things that have helped and then also leave it open-ended because I am still actively dealing with this and struggling with it. But here are a couple things that have helped me. I actually was talking with my counselor about this even just a couple months ago because I asked her the question of how are you supposed to fight a belief system in your head and that belief system for me was the world is not a safe place. When technically it's true. Because if you think about it, it's accurate. Trauma does happen all the time. People are terrible people, kind of often, not all the time. Um, but like stuff happens all the time. The world is not safe. Like you can't relax. And so I'm working on overdrive all the time where my nerves are fried, my anxiety is through the roof, I am on edge, I cannot sit with my back to a door literally ever unless I have like, uh, maybe I've gotten to a place like where if I have a friend with me or especially if my husband's with me and he's like watching my back, okay, maybe I'll be all right. But how do you fight a belief system that's true? And she kind of, I don't know, she didn't laugh at me, but... She said, you know, yeah, in a sense that is accurate, but it's not always accurate. Just like you could say the world is a safe place, that belief system is accurate, but it's not always accurate. And so if you're existing in this mindset of the world is always an unsafe place and you're always looking for the unsafe things, that's the reality you're gonna live under. And so if you can start picking out specific seconds in which you are safe and just start there, there, there's a place to begin. And so what she had me do was start counting the times where something bad didn't happen. So like times where I was driving my car and no one hit me or I didn't crash or um, uh, times where I would have my back to the door and no one attacked me, which so far has been never, but I'm still terrified of in the moments where I can actually get myself to sit with the back to the door but even if it was like just for a few minutes. And so to slowly build up our tolerance to these situations as we are able to and mentally count the times where we were actually safe. Because when we have an event that tells us that we are not safe, the world is not a safe place and nothing is ever gonna ever be okay again, that's a really scarring event that is a really heavy message to carry around and doesn't get overwritten in one day but it's also not a message we have to carry around the rest of our lives. And it can be overwritten tiny bit by tiny bit and that is something I'm trying to chip away at because I am really tired of being exhausted all the time. I am really tired of being on edge all the time even around people that I love and trust and care about. And so I'm counting the times where I'm safe. I'm counting the times where people don't betray me. I'm counting the times where I have good conversations. I'm counting the times where I go to the grocery store alone and don't lose it. You know, stuff like that. Because if we can start to retrain our brains to think not every time 
something bad happens. Not all the time am I unsafe, even though sometimes we have been very unsafe. It begins to train our brains to think that sometimes the world is safe, sometimes it is unsafe, which is a more rational and more realistic worldview to have. There are a lot of negative belief systems that PTSD absolutely contributes to, and I think it masks, or maybe not mask itself, but depression definitely helps it, or it masks itself as depression. Like, there's no point to anything, um, the world is not a safe place, nothing will ever be okay ever again, things of that nature. And these are belief systems that are really difficult to break out of because I just feel like when trauma happens, it's like there's this branding iron in our brains almost that these messages get like imprinted on us, but they can be, they can be slowly chipped away at. And I know that for a fact because it is slowly, 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 slowly getting better for me. And if I look back a year ago or two years ago, I see how far I've come. If I look back a month ago, I get super discouraged because I'm like, it's, it's not getting any better. But you have to look back a little further. And if you look back a little further, you'll see that things start to shift and start to change and you can get better and you can break out of these negative belief systems. I'd like to talk a little bit more about this in upcoming videos about the negative belief systems around PTSD, but I don't want to make this one too long for you guys. So that is where I'm going to end today and ask you, how do you deal with this idea of the world being an unsafe place? Have you found anything that's been helpful to you in combating that belief system? I would love to hear what it is. Thanks so much, guys. I am Joe Beckwith. Before you leave, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos on my channel. You're fantastic. Thank you so much for your support, and I can't wait to see you next time. Please take care of yourselves.